I can feel that force, that repulsive force. Where are we in Midnight Science Club? Yes, <clears throat> Science Club. Let's clear our throats. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, does that sound better? Hey, welcome to Faraday Studios again, home of mm -hmm. Midnight Science Club. Yep. Home of Chessie and Jake. Yep. Please meet you. Hey, got you. I got you, right? We cut out a circle out of the bottom of a plate, right? Yep. Sweetness. So that's all the equipment you need other than a piece of fur or wool or what I call a natural piece of cloth. Now this is what? This is fur. Can you think of another, another nature-based, non-man-made wool. wool? Or some very loose cotton. This is kind of cool. This is my old cat, Tabby. You believe that? No, I was just joking. I wonder what kind of fur this actually is. It doesn't taste like squirrel. Actually, we're gonna use this to move very small particles around. Yay! Very, very small <laughs> particles. Now, I want you to remember, if I took a million atoms and just lined them up like marbles, how big would that be, a million atoms? It would be like that big. That big? Well, you're, you're yeah, pretty close. Yeah, there you go, a little bit better. No, yeah. you keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. It would be like that. Well, this piece of paper, is about a half a million atoms thick. And if I fold it in half and double it up, they say typically, just as a rule of thumb, that's a million atoms, so atoms aren't very big. So do you the think paper. it would be possible, went along here like this, I might knock a few atoms off? Maybe. So more than likely, if I just run my hand over it, I'm probably just gonna throw some things off of there. That's what we're gonna do with this fur, because this fur has some molecules that make up this fur. They're very long. Parts of the molecules are easy to snap off. They'll fly off all the time. Mm -hmm. I do school like that. Now, did you see any difference on the plate? No, but I heard some static. Oh, you heard something, did you? Well, actually what happened is, just by rubbing this, you're knocking off some particles. Some of them are electrons, some of them are parts of molecules, clusters of atoms. They all have a charge, a static charge. So when we put this on here, we're leaving those particles on top of that styrofoam plate. And if I would take another piece of plate, so why don't you grab a circle. I know you can't see it, but actually there are deposited on there some particles that we just kind of broke off. And some of them are charged. Let's knock some particles off of the fur. Now I just want you to lay this on top of the plate. It keeps going to my hand and then flying away. Now I want you to get, see how I've got it balanced on my hand? Yes. Okay, see how high up you can go. Get another charge on there. Do you yeah. feel those two things pushing? Yeah. I found a way to make sure that it doesn't like, fly yeah. away. I can feel that force, that repulsive force. They're charged because we broke some of those particles in half and left the electrons not attached the way they were before. Look, is that really up that high? Matter of fact, I think you can probably feel it. Try it on your beard. Oh, I can feel my hair moving. Do we look kind of like idiots? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I wonder if I can get the hair in my nose to move. <laughs> Say goodbye to people. Say it's time to leave Midnight Science Club. It's here. time to leave. Midnight Science Club.